Scotland come up against one of the best sides in Europe currently, but they'll hold no fear against the Germans. How will they get past the world champions, though? We obviously need to try and stop them from playing us at home. There'll be a little bit, I don't think, massive amount of pressure on ourselves, but there'll be a wee bit more pressure on to try and uh, win that match. And, and I think, as a nation, we, we, we deal well with that. Um, as of late. A lot of impetus to get that result and it could be quite interesting but how will they line up? Oh, Well we'll, we'll look at the Georgia game and yeah. I think we'll be a little bit more flamboyant going forward and trying mm. to get the ball forward as quick yeah. as we can. I think against Germany we're going to have to be super patient because mm -hmm. they are a top side, the top nation. I think the wider boys will okay, tuck yeah. in, they will, they'll, come, they'll come back and you'll probably find that you might end up having two hold in there yeah. and the one in that side. You might be able taking away an attacking forward player in the likes of Maloney. Mm -hmm might end up being pushed wide or I might not even make it and you might push a, a Darren Fletcher and that in so there. So could you have Morrison, Brown and Fletcher? Oh, you could have them in there, no problem, mm -hmm. because they're going to have to protect this area. That's a key area for Scotland and Germany, where yeah. we lost the goals in Germany. But what we've got to remember is, when we went in the counter-attack in the second half against Germany, mm -hmm we went forward and had a go at them. Yeah. So I think initially we'll, we'll sit back, we'll have a couple of banks of four, one sitting in there just in to hold it and hopefully the pace mm -hmm. of maybe Fletcher or, or another player up front, mm -hmm. we'll, we'll distribute them behind the Germans and then well, as the game goes on, we might then have a go at them and, and open the game up a little really bit. Really have to, even more slowly than before. Scotland at home to Germany. This is the big one, surely. For Germany, no, for, for, well, for both teams really, because Germany, they're, they're playing Poland before this. They need points as well, they're second in the group, the, the, the Poles are top. Germany will go to Scotland needing a result, which could play in Scotland's favour, do you think? Um, I'm not necessarily sure that's the case. Uh, I mean, in any situation, I think it's very hard to imagine Germany turning over and asking for their tummies to be tickled. But, you know, uh, the thing is, it's, it's not just in terms of qualification, it's, it's pretty clear that Germany are going to qualify. But A, they need to get it out of the way as soon as possible. Well, they need to get it done. Yeah, absolutely. And um, B, I think there are just so many doubts over their, their team at the moment. There's no doubt that they've got a stack of great players. But when you enter into an era where you're post Lahm, post Mertesacker, post Miroslav Klose, at least as things stand, um, you know, you need to find guys that you're going to hang your hat on for, for, for the next championship. You know, there, there, there are people already starting to talk about the fact that, well, maybe they're not favourites uh, for, for Euro 2016. Um, they have made good progress in terms of what they got through the World Cup without any proper fullbacks, mm -hmm. And that's something that they've, um, you know, really made a start in. But for Scotland, it's always about, like, getting the most out of the wide areas. I think especially against Germany, when, you know, whatever fullbacks they, they go in, with, you know, they're, they're going to be inexperienced at, at that level. Jonas Hector on the, on the left-hand side from Cologne, who's been really good, I think, since he's come in in this qualifying campaign. And mm -hmm. even though Hervidas was one of Germany's best players at the World Cup, he's, he's not a proper left-back. Mm -hmm. um, they needed to make that change. But still, you know, there's the sense, I think, that, you know, with pace, you can you can have a little go at them. So mm -hmm. that, that, that's, you know, they need to be smart. And I'm sure they will under Gordon Strachan as well. That is just getting down the park. That's mm. the key. That's where the front player is going to be key for Scotland mm. because we need him to hold it up for us. Who would you think will... that would be against? against I, th I mean, I, I still believe in Stephen Fletcher. I right. think he's the man to do it. You know, Lee Griffiths is, 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 is again, he's doing very well at Celtic. He's scoring goals. Mm -hmm. But I think as a target man and the way he leads the line very well at the moment, mm -hmm. uh, Stephen Fletcher is the one for me to lead the line in that area. Mm. So you think Scotland could, for periods of that game, be camped out in their own half? Yeah, I but, think so. But you said before they've done it in previous yeah. matches, they're reasonably comfortable and that Germany will remember against Scotland at home that they caused them problems on the break and with the pace of Anya, like you say. Yeah, well, the people, we've, got, we've got fast players now. That's mm. something that we've not had in abundance of, of three front fast players. Mm. We've also got fullbacks who are fast. Alan Hutton likes to overlap. Yeah, yeah. So at times, if, if we have to tuck in narrow from a wider area and to make it compact, when you're doing that in a counter-attack, sometimes the pace of Hutton going down the right, or even uh, if it's uh, young Andrew Robertson, mm -hmm. it's on the left, you know, uh, the lad Martin as well from Derby, mm -hmm. you know, these can all do overlaps down the left at pace, and that just brings us up the park, uh, and it will just nullify the Germans where they're really, really strong as in the, the heartbeat of the, the midfield. For more coverage of the match, search Vauxhall Scotland on Facebook or Twitter and give them a like or follow. Scotland away to Georgia. This is an absolute must win for, for Scotland. They're going to have to go in and perhaps attack Georgia. 
this is what you're thinking that they may well go with, a couple of wide players, obviously, one man up top. Strachan's not changed his personnel too much. He's trusted the players.